In this video, I'll take you through two plugins that will make your life easier as a retoucher. We'll take a look at the Heal plugin and then the Dodge and Burn plugin. Both plugins are AI plugins from Retouch for Me. Yes, as the name suggests, these plugins do the retouching for you. I have a couple of images that I'll be using for this demonstration. Let's take a look at the first one. I use these two plugins to work on this image. So this is before and after. Let me zoom in. So this is our image after using the plugins. This is before and this is after. Let me go in further so you can see what I want. I need you to see. Now look at the face. This is before, this is after. You see all these blemishes before they've been taken care of and then some dodge and burn has also happened. So I'll go ahead and delete this folder and we'll go through the process step by step. This image has been raw processed in Capture One. So this is straight from Capture One. No retouching has been done to it. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the blemishes on her face. So first of all, if we were doing this manually, then we'll create an empty layer and then use our either clone stamp or the healing brush to go through that. But now with the help of AI, we are able to do that easily and quickly, saving us much time. The first thing you have to do is duplicate your layer. So we go to filter, then we see the plugin from Retouch For Me. And what we want to use here is the Retouch For Me heal. So let's click on it. What you need to know is this is an AI. So it, it, it demands a lot of processing power. So you need a system which is strong enough to be able to handle these processes. So this took a couple of seconds to do. And here, there are a few things that you need to know. We have original. If you click on it, it shows you the original image and then the current image that we have. Over here, we have sensitivity. That determines how strong or light the healing process is. So here it's at 100%. If you click on it and start dragging, it shows you in these um, white dots what has been taken care of. So all the white dots you see are the blemishes that have been removed. So at 100%, it takes off more. If you reduce it, it takes off less. So it depends on the kind of results you want. I'll leave it at 100%. So it takes care of everything. Down here where we have 100%, there is uh, minus and there is plus. So this is to either zoom in or zoom out. So let's zoom into the face so we can see what we are doing effectively. Over here, we have a couple of buttons here. The brush is for brushing and then we have the eraser tool. What the eraser tool does is if you realize that certain places have been, um, if you realize that certain blemishes have been removed that shouldn't have been removed, you use the eraser tool to bring them back. So let's click on the eraser tool. It shows you the parts that have been um, removed. So let's say here on the shoulder here, if we want this to remain here, there's this slider here, which will take care of the size of the eraser. If we brush on it, then it brings that uh, blemish back. So let's say we don't want this to be part of the blemishes removed. Once we use the eraser tool to um, erase it, it will subtract it from the selection. So if you go back here and we look at it, you see that blemish is there. Let's say it was a mistake and we want to bring it back easy. Just click on the brush tool and then we come and then brush it over. So that would bring it back to the selection. So if we click, this is the original and this is where we are. We seem to be okay with um, the results that we are having. So there is one more thing I want to show. If you look at the bottom here, we have auto, we have um, close up, we have half length and then we have full. So this just takes care of the kind of image you're working on, whether it's a close up image, it's a half length image or it's a full image. This will tell the AI how, how much of the blemish it should take or whether it should concentrate on just a portion of the body or it should do the whole body. Normally you will keep it on auto because of course AI, AI is wise. It, it knows, it can determine when, it can determine what kind of image you have. So I'll usually leave it at auto unless I want to be very, very specific and then I choose the kind of um, picture it is. Now over here, there is a uh, make mask. I'll show you in the next uh, step what this means, but I'll always select it. 
So once we are happy with that, I click on apply and it will send it back to Photoshop. So once we come back here, we have our empty layer. Over here, if you realize what you've done, it's um, too much. Let's say it's taking more blemishes than it's supposed to. Easy. There's an easy fix for that. So you can just create a layer mask. Select your brush with a black, which is to negate whatever it is. So you can now come here and then brush over the face. So you see, as you brush, it takes care of all those blemishes, it brings them back. So that's how to fix it. And if you realize that you need to take off more blemishes, that's easy. So let me undo the layer mask. So you just select whatever you're okay with, whether it's the clone stamp or the spot healing brush, then you can come here and then start taking care of other blemishes. So with that said, AI has done a good job for us. We are okay with um, the blemish remover. So we'll move to the next step, which is dodge and burn. It's very tedious doing dodge and burn by yourself. We all know that. Now, how nice is it to have an AI which will do a precise job for you when it comes to dodging and burning? Let's take a look at what Retouch for Me has for us. With that also, we'll create uh, a stamped layer and then we go to filter retouch for me and then dodge and burn as i said these uh, processes take much of your processing power so make sure you have a system that has enough resources the system i'm using is the macbook pro 2017 with an i7 processor and then a 16 gig ram even with that you see it takes a couple of seconds for the processing to be done so here just like in the previous example we have um, these button so here the blend has to do with um, the intensity of the dodge and burn so let's zoom in and then we'll take a look at that now i have it at 150 you can go from 0 to 200 so it's up to you to choose the intensity you slide look at what what's happening then you decide what works for you i'll leave it somewhere around 150 for this purpose now there is something here as a warmth when you slide it up, you realize that where it did the dodge and burn, it adds some uh, some warmth to that place. I don't want that. So here we can take a look at preview. Preview shows you the areas where the dodge and burn happened. So let me zoom out. So we look at it. So you see anywhere you see those colors, you know that dodge and burn has taken place there. So let me zoom in once again so we can have a closer look. Now look on her chest over here. Let me do before and after you see the difference before and after now let's go to her face then we see before and after before and after you see the difference so same thing here we have the brush and the eraser if you don't want the dodge and burn applied to certain parts you will use the eraser tool to erase the effect or if you want to bring them back then you use the brush tool to bring them back same way here we have um, the kind of picture whether it's a close-up half length or full body. You can let AI decide for you, or if you want to be very sure, you can choose it yourself. So with that said, we have this um, soft light layer. I'll show you in the next um, process what it does. So once we are okay with what uh, we have here, we click apply and it takes us back to Photoshop. Yes, uh, you may be wondering why is it like this? We chose a soft layer. So we come to the blend mode and then select soft light and then it brings it back for us so if we disable and enable let me zoom in so we can see it clearly this is before dodge and burn this is after dodge and burn so let me group the two of them so we can have a look at both of them this is before and this is after let me take it back to full so we see before and after retouch for me was kind enough to send me these two plugins to use and then see how they work there is a third one which is a frequency separation plugin i'll take you through that in subsequent videos just so you know this video is not sponsored by retouch for me it's an honest opinion on what i think about these plugins if you're a beginner i will advise you go through the manual way to understand how these things work before you venture into ai that way if the plugin doesn't give you the exact result that you need you'll be able to tweak it in a way to get what you want let's use these uh, plugins on a different image and see the outcome 
This second image is more of um, a half length image. So let's uh, duplicate it. And then we go to filter, retouch for me, and then heal. So here we have this, let's uh, zoom in to this. Now, if you look at before and after, we are okay with uh, what AI gave us. Make sure this make mask is always selected. We click on apply and here we are. Then we create a, a visible stamp layer. Then we go to filter, retouch for me, then dodge and burn. And I'll be doing more videos on how to use um, these tools from Retouch for me. So this will be a good time for you to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified anytime there's a new video. As I said, this takes a lot of processing time. So make sure your system is strong enough to handle this. This is a 16 gig RAM machine and see how it's still struggling. So um, let me check what we have. Okay, original is okay. So I think it's a bit too strong. So let me reduce it to 129 and click apply. So with that, we come to the blend mode, and then select soft light. So we can select both layers and then we group so we can have a look at before and after. So this is before, this is after. Let me zoom in again. So this is at 50%. So before, after, before, after. Are we not happy with the result? I am. And this will speed up your delivery time. The link to get these plugins will be in the description. So click on it and go check out what Retouch for Me has for you. There are other plugins which I'll be looking at in the coming videos. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified anytime there's a new video.